Okay, I'm going to show you how to do an alignment test for your mousetrap car. First of all, you set up your course. You take two meter sticks and lay them end to end so the zeros touch each other. And they're right along a line on the floor. Then you go ten squares back. I put these discs here to mark the position. And you start with your car, the left wheel. If you only have three wheels, you use your center wheel. And you set it on that same center line. Do the same with the back wheels. And the axle, if you look straight down, should be right over the starting line. Give it a gentle push. Maybe not this gentle. And look where it crosses. So that was a zero. It drove right through that spot in between them. Then you come over to your data table. Here I laid it out with trials and the distance from center. So my first trial was actually a zero. Now, let's say it wasn't a zero. And on the second trial, it rolls over and hits right there. So that's six centimeters to the left of center. So we're going to call that a negative six. If it hit over here, that would be about an eight. If it's right of center, we'll call it positive 8. So you would eventually write down all your data. Let's say this is a negative 6, and this was a positive 8. You'll add all those up, divide by 5, and you actually come up with an average that tells you how straight your car goes. Record this in your journal on the day that you uh, ran those tests. And we will look at that later to determine how straight it goes. If you have a good number, is plus or minus 10 or less. So if it goes fewer than 10 centimeters to the left or right, by the time it gets to the finish line, that's a good thing. More than that, and you probably should consider correcting the steering on your car.